1. Plus probability to be in this state times probability of transition from 2 to 1. Plus probability to be in this state times probability of uh, transition from 3 to 1 and so forth. So probability to be in the after uh, one step to be in the state it, at any obviously this works for any state to be in a state um, uh, k probability uh, how do we write this so this is probability that uh, um, uh, for when t equals to 1 to be in a state say sk will be sum over all states of probability when t is equal to 0 to be in state s times probability to go from uh, s into sk, right? So probability to be in this state is equal probability that you started here times probability of transition plus probability to be here times probability of transition probability to be here times probability of transition, right? But what is that? This means that rho at t equals to 1, which is approximation of our rho, right, is equal to rho when t is equal to 0 times the matrix of transitions. Right? This will exactly multiply each probability with the probability of transition. But then in the same way, I get that rho when t equals to 2 is equal to rho t equals to 1 times g. Right? Because the same logic applies. And so forth, uh, a rho uh, transpose when t is equal to k plus 1 is simply a rho transpose when t equals to k times g. Do you understand this? Right? So you simply let, you see, initially our surfer can choose any page with equal probability. So all of these probabilities will be 1 over n. But these guys will depend very much whether this page has a link to that page or not. But <coughs> in any case, probability to be at this web page is equal probability to be at that web page times probability of clicking the right link and ended up here, plus probability that you are here times clicking the right link and so forth. So, and this tells you how the Markov chain is evolving when we increment the run by one. But now I can simply replace this here and do the chain and it's easy to see, right, what do we get? That the row t equals to k plus 1 of t is equal rho t equals to 0 transpose times g on what power it will be power, 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 uh, k, is it k or k plus 1? I start with 0 so it's just k plus 1. <laughs> is it? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Now, this means, and the Markov theorem tells you that as 
k grows, these guys will converge. So the limit of rho t equals to k, uh, uh, well, rho equals to k, exists and is equal to rho, the same rho regardless of what t0 initial distribution is. Maybe how large t has to be to get to this rho, that might depend on the initial distribution, but the net effect will be eventually, it always converges to the very same value. So this tells us, uh, in order to find the page rank, in order to find the page rank, we simply have to find, uh, so to evaluate this when k is sufficiently large. Now a question for you. How are you going to compute this? Are you going to take the matrix on the power k plus 1? You diagonalize it? Oh, shush, mathematicians. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so the point is, uh, and that's Really, I actually have recently experienced this. You know, in signal processing, you have lots of um, matrix multiplications. And what did you learn in 3121 when it comes to matrix multiplication? That, uh, you remember what did we show? We showed the optimal way to multiply the chain of matrices. And we gave an example, even though Matrix multiplication is associative, but depending how you group the matrices, how you distribute the brackets, the number of multiplications can be absolutely uh, different by a huge factor, yeah. right? So how do you put this here, uh, mathematically speaking, would can be written as uh, so rho uh, t equals k plus 1 is equal to rho times g to the k plus 1, which is equal to rho times g times g, right, n plus 1 times, and that's equal to that. But lo and behold, t equals k. Rho and behold, this is not how you group. How do we compute this? How do you multiply a vector by a power of a matrix? You group it precisely the other way around. This is rho times g times g times g and so forth. You always multiply rho by the matrix, you get a vector. So you never do matrix by matrix multiplication. You always, you will always end up with vectors, right? So you group it this way. And lo and behold, if, K, if your alpha is 0.85, it takes about 50 iterations to get a very good approximation of the page rank. Now, this is still extremely expensive if the number of web pages is a trillion. <laughs> but it's feasible. In fact, initially, we will finish next time, but initially Google used to do it once a week because this is how long the page run computation took. And nowadays, they probably don't do it this way at all, but they assign web pages to maximize their profit and get Hillary <laughs> elected instead of Trump. <laughs> so um, that's the, the bottom line. So next time we will see the properties of the page rank and uh, I have to, you look, the material will get denser and denser, right? So please read the notes. They will do good.